Right, so it really hasn't taken long to find the photograph tonight. So way over there, right in the direction of where the sun is. Yeah, the lighthouses and the piers and everything, but there's all the like the pans and everything on the low mud and everything. It's all been reflecting some great light, and there's this a bit of a haze as well. I'd say it's one of them scenes. I can't describe it, but you're going to see some video of it. So now you know what I'm talking about. Let's um, let's get the photograph. So I'll put the sentence to 200 on because it's still fairly bright out here and everything. So there's no real need to put this on the tripod. So uh, I'm going to go. Uh, let's have a look. I think about 80-ish millimetres. So what I'm doing, I'm putting the lighthouse right in the centre of the frame. I'm going to fo focus on the lighthouse. I've got the pier off to the left, and I've kind of got the berm, the beach and everything, sort of arcing around towards the lighthouse. And we've got some really nice, fun-looking clouds over in the distance. I don't know why the two-second timer's on. I like that photograph. I'm sure it's you. I'm carrying on walking down the track, and we'll go find the lighthouses, get a bit closer, hopefully, and get a sunset. than I was expecting. So this is new. I've never seen one of these before, so let's do it. Let's scan it and see what it brings up. QR code. All right, so it brings us to a website, which uh, there's not an awful lot on it. It says about this photo post, I guess. Let's have a look. The photo post in front of your view is part of a global community coastal monitor project and was developed in partnership between the University of Hull and East Riding of Yorkshire Council. Become a citizen scientist, taking photographs. Oh, I like this. Ooh, I've had an idea. By sharing your landscape photograph on your social media using the photo post hashtag, all right, hashtag spent oysters, you can help monitor the changing coastline. I'll tell you what, let's take a photograph from here then, and we'll post it on the social media, and why not, we've got the cameras with us, take a photo here down there, post it, cool, let's do that. All right, so we've still got a 7200 on, and I'm just going to lean against this post, and I'm kind of thinking maybe like a, a 16 by 9 slightly panoramic thing here. It's going to look very similar to the photograph I took back there, basically because we're, it's going to be the same, but, well, for the fun of the hashtag thing, why not? We'll take it. It's from here. From the hashtag, they're not going to see the other one, are they? You guys are. So this is going to be a bit samey-samey, but I'm probably going to cut the 16 by 9 and nice and panoramic looking, so I'm just going to against this post actually i'm gonna use it as a bit of a tripod um i'm trying to think how much of this beach do we want to get in or so we're just going tight against yeah i think that's all those so i'm gonna focus on the lighthouse i'm gonna go nice and tight so everything's nice and big in the frame we're gonna make the f yeah yeah we'll make the sky a nice big dominating feature of this boat hopefully didn't blow the sky out because it is the dominating feature so we're at a sixteen hundredth of a second F8 and ISO 100. There we go. So I'll, do, I'll show you that and then I'm going to post it on the social media under that hashtag just for a bit of fun. Now we're going to walk down to the lighthouses and hopefully get the sunset. So the time has come to finally take the first photograph that I came here tonight for. Uh, I've got three in mind and this is going to be the first one which was just the berm 
with the lighthouse at the end of it. Now, the grass and everything around here, it just looks awesome leading up to it. So I've kept the 7200 millimeter lens on. It's gonna give us the uh, focal length we need to get close enough because it's we're still quite far away from the lighthouse. It's just gonna, it's gonna get us a bit closer, but I quite like the grass and everything. Um, you may be able to notice, I don't know if you can see, it is quite windy at the minute. So we're gonna have to really up the shutter speed here. So I'm gonna take a few minutes just to figure out some settings and try and figure out how to get this as sharp as we possibly can. So let's get stuck in and take the first photograph that I came to take tonight. All right, so what I've done here is I've put the tripod almost on the deck and we're essentially just going to shoot across the grass towards the lighthouse because getting down low like this, I'm able to obscure the lifeboat station behind one of the bushes. Um, I liked the composition a little bit higher up. In fact, I probably preferred the composition higher up than this, but I didn't like the lifeboat station in the background of the photograph. So I decided we'll just put the camera on the deck and we'll go ahead and we'll take the photograph from here and I'll just have to live with it. So let's talk about some settings, a thousandth of a second f8 and ISO 200. Using a two second timer because it's a little bit breezy. And I'll show you the final photograph and we'll head down to the low lighthouse next before we move on to the pier. And we've still got, I've still got an hour and 45 before sunset. So I'm gonna get myself out this wind. Caught behind Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I've become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep since night All right, so this is the low lighthouse at Spam Point. Um, no prizes for guessing what it's called, the low lighthouse. Um, right, upon walking up here, I noticed that the sun is starting to set and the, there's some long shadows being cast on the ground and there's some wavy kind of textury stuff in the mud or sand down here. And it, it's kind of got me thinking, low to the ground shot, 16 to 35 millimeter lens, accentuate all this texture in the mud and the sand down there leading up to the lighthouse back there how does that sound i think it sounds quite good so i think we're going to do that it's probably going to be a black and white one because there is near sky well there's a couple of little white wispy things but no sky to really to really talk of so i think black and white for this one so yeah let me get myself set up and i'll talk you for the photograph when i'm ready to take it all right so having had a play around with my original idea the 16 to 35 it was the lens distortion on the on the lens was giving the lighthouse a really prominent bulge at the top and while it would have been correctable with the geometry tools in Lightroom it would have probably lost the composition that I was going for you know with changing all the shapes and everything it was just one of them I, I didn't think it was going to work but then I noticed that this lighthouse has its own swimming pool and I thought well why not include that so we're still going to use the 16 to 35 but we're just going to take more of a, a 16 to 35 photograph we're not going to accentuate anything or try and stretch anything out we're just going to take a photograph so turn it around and have a look at this composition so we've got spam point turn the camera on that would be a good idea right so we've got spam point just coming in on the left hand side of the frame with the river humber off the, uh, sorry we've got spam point on the right hand side the river humber at the left hand side and we've just got a lighthouse with some white wispy clouds and the pond swimming pool and um, at the bottom of the frame so f11 iso 200 two hundredth of a second and timer still on All right, so I think that's me done tonight. I was going to head off to the pier, which is only a couple of hundred yards or in that direction, but uh, if I was able to take that photograph that I wanted, uh, the camera wouldn't be there and we wouldn't have been stood around there. There's no tide and, well, the, the sky's pretty much cleared, so yeah, there's, there's no interest in the skies, is there? So 
I think we're going to leave it at that. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel out. It brings new viewers to see my content. And if you liked it more than that, you can always hit the subscribe button, which is somewhere near my feet. And you'll see more nonsense from me every single week. So until next time, I'm going to leave you and say peace and goodbye. Should I jump down there and get the camera? Let's try it. Here we come. Ow, ow, that hurts.